Apparently, uh, you know that sex from SCP I told you yeah. about? Yeah, apparently got updated. What is it? Yes. What, how is it updated? Well, uh, apparently it holds you in there from 62 day days to 72 quintillion years. What the fuck? How did they calculate <laughs> that? I don't know. That many years hasn't existed. Where did they get these numbers? <laughs> but apparently, um, it does allow you to come. But the thing <laughs> is, each time you do, it messes with your nervous system and also changes what type of sperm you have. What? What? What is? What? What does that even mean? Like, it can change it to animal sperm, it can change it to a different genetic code, that sort of shit. <laughs> you can end up coming horse sperm! Yeah. <laughs> but here's the, the fuck? here's the thing, uh, apparently a test was done to see what happened if you only put one person in the room. The room did not like that, and immediately disintegrated them. So... Oh, what the? Why did Rinko say you know about that? <laughs> did not like that. So you have to be having sex with other people. Yeah, you can't have masturbation. <laughs> That's where it draws the line. <laughs> Damn it. You, like, come on, room. Get more creative. You could, like, create some kind of hentai monster. Come on. Uh, bow tie. I want it. I wanted to hear about how the room sprouted tentacles. <laughs> then all we'd have to do is send Chu in there. Yeah, but here's the thing. So uh, many people. Uh, it, you know, I'm not sure if you know this, but there's this thing called risk class and whatever, basically. It's to say, like, how dangerous of a Keter it is and everything. Yeah. Yeah, it is undetermined. Because apparently, it has moved, has the, it started developing the ability to move outside of the room to affect oh, people. What? Huh. I get it now. So, so now it just oh, boy, is like an area of effect aphrodisiac. <laughs> yup, and you literally can't stop. Like, time will re keep resetting itself over and over and over again. What the f- <laughs> This is like a terrifying it's It's a horny SCP, but terrifying. I mean, it's scary, but also, I mean... I've seen I've seen hentai like that. I don't think you've ever mentioned your family before. Because there's nothing worth mentioning. Tell me why does this exist in, in the SCP universe? No, think about it. Well, it was put on to uh, the nature generation, and <laughs> that is kind of human nature. <laughs> if you think about it, nature get horny. Get horny now! <laughs> Stay horny! All the horny! Come, mouse sperm! Wait, what does it do to women in that case? Does it... Wait, does it, like, replace their gametes with other animal gametes? Possibly? Like, she, like, la lady ends up with, like, a horse uter. <laughs> this is bad! I need to stop! <laughs> I need to stop talking! <laughs> the only thing it has not confirmed is whether or not people will get pregnant. <laughs> oh, if it's just like, no, no risk loving, then that's awesome. It's unconfirmed. Probably because the Foundation doesn't want to find out. <laughs> which brave researcher will go in there? Like, which brave female researcher will go in there to test it out? Uh oh. Ah. Uh, we may never know. Because the O5 has forbid anyone from entering the room. <laughs>
Oh, that's no fun. Fucking Hawk Block 05 Council. Well, they they did that because they think they're making it stronger. Yeah, make the sex room <laughs> That's Turn my house now. Don't get cocky on me. The world will be better if we make the sex room stronger. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> You're gonna be clipped for that. No shit, I'm gonna be clipped for that. And I stand by my statement. Fuck you. Not you, Hatchet. Well, I, I can guess that, Hunch. Ha! Not like you, I can die behind cars! Oh, the sex room has gotten hatchet. I don't want that to be the case. I'm, like, surrounded by <laughs> dozens of orbs. <laughs> Wait, they only sent two people at a time. What happens if you send multiple? <laughs> well, you'd have the sex room or <laughs> What else? But seriously, how the fuck did they think and calculate the quintillion year? I don't know. <laughs> Just like, they, they just see it written in sperm on the side of the wall at some point. <laughs> like, how did, how did you... Like, that's like magnitudes larger... Or, that's like magnitudes more than, like, the total age of the Earth. Right. Wait, I just realized, you know how I said it messes with the nervous system? Yeah. What if it messes with the nervous system to make them not bleed? Make them really want to stay. Yeah. <laughs> you will you will remain in the horny room. You are now addicted to the horny room. I'm just really wondering why I did not like people going in alone. <laughs> because it demands uh I don't know. <laughs> it demands babies. Uh, well we don't know if that's even the case. <laughs> Probably because the O5 doesn't want people to find out whether or not. <laughs> no, it oh, is... God. Oh, oh, God. Keep it away from the pro-lifers. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, yeah, Hatchet. Here's the bike. That sure is a bike. It has the ability to cut through spirits. Akito, let me take over for a little bit. I'll fix it. Okay. Oh yeah, would you like to know the SCP's number though? Uh, uh, 6969. All right. You actually Here guessed it. Obviously. The How could they to... not do <laughs> It's the sex num. By the order of the Overseer Council, the following file has been locked due to the repeated malicious external and internal attempts to make edits to the documentation. The purpose of these texts are not currently known. Proceed with caution. Disruption class pending. Risk class pending. They don't know what to do with it. <laughs> oh. Here we go, Hatchet. Research suggests that affected subjects may experience a subjective time of anywhere from 16 days to roughly 
73 quintillion years every ejaculation. What the fuck? Alright. Upon conclusion of unknown number of repetitions, the casual time loop ceases and a secondary thermaturgic effect activates. The secondary effect resets the nervous system to the state it was when the time loop began, allowing for the seamless transition between pre- and post-orgasm states by resetting memory. So that's what it does to the nervous system. It literally fucks your brain. <laughs> that, that's not what that means. It means it just keeps you constantly horny. It means it, like you, you never get you never get desensitized from the horny. All right. Ah, uh, yeah. It every ejaculation it changes the sperm's genetic composition. <sighs> ah, here we go. The procedure. A specialized thermometric spell is placed upon D-8007135 which modifies the SP-6969 process, allowing for the entire body to be preserved between time loops. Subject was informed and consented to the experiment prior and was instructed to masturbate. Subject. I mean, results. Subject immediately disintegrates. <laughs> <laughs> and the subject was female. <laughs> uh... It was like, no. No, you must have coitus. Oh, another one that was told to masturbate, which was male. Uh, result, immediate liquef liquefaction of subject nervous system, analysis of subjects ejaculate, confirmed changes to genetic material. <laughs> so it just liquefied the entire nervous system. It was like, no, must be two. <laughs> it really does not want you to go in there alone. Why, why does this why does this exist <laughs> I mean I know why it exists it's because horny but still what type of risk class would you give it hatchet horny class <laughs> horny class <laughs> there's but one class that this is deserving of Coomer right, class. Let's roll. <laughs>